Cadet Chief Master Sergeant Evelina Granados. And I'm Cadet Chief Master Sergeant Perla. I'm Zoe Filson, Cadet Tech Sergeant. I am Cadet Senior Airman Elmore. Hello everyone, I am Cadet Campos Lopez and I am one of the proud members of Squadron 11's High Altitude Balloon Challenge. I am proud to announce that the High Altitude Balloon Challenge results have been safely delivered and are ready to be analyzed for differences. If you need a reminder, we sent up three samples in our test tube to go up to the space. You may not remember our samples, but to fill you in, our samples were popcorn kernels, bubble wrap, and rubber bands. These three samples were sent to test if both the pressure differential and the temperature changes the way these items react when we test them. I personally have high hopes for the popcorn kernels because I love popcorn and I was the one who suggested it first. What I think is really cool about the bubble wrap and it going into this space is that I believe that it will expand due to low air pressure, like how a vacuum sucks out air. What I think is really cool about the popcorn kernels and it going up into space is that it could lose the ability to pop. And if that were the case, we'd just end up with a hot kernel. What I think is really cool about the rubber bands and them going to space is the possibility of their elasticity being affected due to the amount of radiation exposure that will take place due to the environmental changes. Our three samples went into a small test tube, then they went all the way into space. On the way into space, nothing really changed except for the bubble wrap, which popped a couple of times. As it entered a higher atmosphere, the temperature change along with the air pressure. Higher altitude means less air. What I hypothesized is that the bubble wrap would have popped once it was sent up due to the increased pressure. And as we can see, it had popped in some places and it most likely have popped due to the pressure, though this will be further analyzed in our review slide. Moving on, the rubber bands are very elastic, so could the temperature and pressure change that effect? Let's see the difference between our control rubber band and our test rubber band. First, let's test our control rubber band. Still very stretchy. Now let's test our test rubber band that went up to space. Still the same, still the same. Let's see them together. There wasn't much of a difference. And finally, we have our popcorn kernels. Now, I chose popcorn kernels to use in our tests and control tubes because I wanted to know that if it went up into space, would the temperature and would the pressure difference affect its ability to pop when we bring it back? Because popcorn can be sensitive to temperature changes. So we're gonna take our control kernels and we're gonna pop them into the microwave. These are our control kernels. We're gonna put them in the microwave at three minutes to see how long they take to pop. As you can see, the control kernels are now all popped. It took a little longer than expected as I had to add two more minutes, which leaves the total time to pop four minutes and 11 seconds. Now for our test popcorn kernels that went up to space, this was in our test tubes. So if you can remember, our test tubes had the three samples, the popcorn kernel was one of them. So let's see if the popcorn kernels that went up to space are gonna pop. Now we have our test kernels. We're going to put these ones in for five minutes, as the last one took longer than expected. The test kernels are well past the time that it took for the control kernels to pop. This shows that they are not popping normally. The five minutes is up, and as we can see, only two of the three popcorn kernels popped. One not even popped until the two second mark. This shows that there was indeed a change in the popcorn kernels. Just for fun, I'm gonna have a little taste test, see if there's really a difference. This is the control kernel, and this is the experimental kernel. Could use some butter. Honestly, the, the test kernel tastes better. All right, and that is the end of it. We are on air, and now we're going to be off air. Bye. As we come to the conclusion of the analysis of samples that we sent up, this is what we here at Composite Squadron 11 have to say about the 2023 High Altitude Air Balloon Challenge. See you folks.